Welcome back guys to the Hip Hop Report. I am your host Rambo Hustle and we are going to switch gears just a bit to where we're not always tackling just one particular topic but more so giving you some sort of a recap. We'll do this at least once a week in between our more topic specific videos so at least so you guys who have jobs or responsibilities or kids or dogs or birds or rabbits can at least keep up with what's new, hot and relevant in the hip hop culture and soundscape. The week kicked off with Lil Baby and his new highly anticipated single, Yes Indeed, featuring Toronto's Drake. Lil Baby also released a full length project in Hardest Ever, allowing the popularity or at least the buzz of him having a record with Drake to reach as many people as possible. Right now Lil Baby is one of the hottest artists coming up and he needs to make the most out of this moment right now. Also this week, Top Dog Entertainment's J-Rock released his first single, Win, from his up-and-coming album, Redemption. Also this week, a new announcement from Wiz Khalifa. He is back with a brand new tour. This time, the drug-infused title is Dazed and Blooded, alongside Ray Shremmerd, OT Genesis from Long Beach, and somebody who I think is one of the most talented and has the most upside from the new generation, Lil Skies. We also have the Endless Summer Tour with g Easy and somebody who also, I think, has been able to cut through the cookie cutter bullshit and show that he has the talent and star power to be a name in years to come, YBN Namir. Between the Endless Summer Tour and the Days and Blooded Tour and, of course, the Aubrey and the Three Amigos Tour, we have a great summer of live shows lined up. Some other notable records that we got this week was a new single from True Life and Future, a new record from Russ that I really love because of the West Coast sound of production. I believe Scott Storch might have produced this one, in addition to Dizzy Wright and Kid Ink's Vibe record. As far as full length projects, we got an amazing new project and I believe it's the debut album from Nick Grant from Atlanta, a lyrical artist that delivers thought provoking concepts and content. and is definitely slept on in regards to the industry because his image is an outlandish and his content is rather thought-provoking which as we know people tend to shy away from also this week we got the Netflix series Rapture we got the EP for that we got a three song EP from Kevin Gates also packaged with a Cole Bennett directed visual on Change Lanes in addition to a artist that I had been hearing about for the past 6 to 12 months but hadn't taken the time out to actually listen Dai Soho. Now the project is maybe a little longer than it needed to be. We could have cut back a couple of the records that sounded like previous records or other records, but overall the project is solid, has some extremely powerful features, and overall holds its own as a new artist that you should definitely be checking out for. Kyle, his debut album, Light of Mine is out, as well as a brand new Lil B mixtape. Now something I just figured out tonight, The Weeknd actually covered new issue of Time Magazine as a representation of the new generation of artists. I think it's definitely an article you should check out. I'm going to because I think it's very interesting and I'm curious to see how Time Magazine represents the hip hop culture. Now last but definitely not least, Cardi B is back on Instagram after an extremely public argument with professional troll Azalea Banks. She seems to be in good spirits and today we'll be releasing the music video for Be Careful, a record that I personally wasn't super hot on initially, but I've seen that the ladies love it, they still play it at the club, on the radio, and to be completely honest with you, I do enjoy the idea of this record being on the album because it is the one instance where we do get a sense of Cardi B's vulnerable side where, you know, she's not all this bravado, loud mouth, and super overly confident female presence, but she also has this emotional side. 